Thank you, Eric Premier Camera Equipment and Accessory for sponsoring our channel today. Hi, I'm Eric here. So today I will do unboxing of Lazio LED lights, which is P03 and P02. So in here I have two of it. The P03 I have the full version, while the P02 I have the tested version. So. I'll show you all what's the inside and how it's used. So for the P03, I have the unofficial testing unit. So here's the uh, P02 here. And in the P02 here, we can see that it only has two buttons here and the power indicator here. So I on the light first, you can see the power indicator is here. And then this one is on off buttons here. Here's the on off button. And it only has two functions. So I open up. Okay, very bright. I reduce the brightness first. You can see a lot of LED. And only has a yellow and normal tungsten light. So this is the review of this Lazio P02. Wow, the interesting part is the RGB version. So this is a box of the RGB version, as you can see here. This is the RGB version. And inside the RGB version, we have this box that contains all the lights and all the equipment. So in both of the lights here, we are using a micro micro USB charger so with a USB head wow inside we have one light here and one stand to attach the lights here so the lighting attached is like this okay so we attach the light here and we can put on the stand the one thing that this last year light doesn't have is a stand that help to organize your lights here so your lights cannot stand on its own, so you have to prepare a light stand. The light stand is the uh, flash type, a uh, cold shoe, cold shoe stand, that kind of things. So in here, I will demo to you all how this light was used. First of all, here you can see we got a few buttons here. Press the center buttons and wait for a while. You can see the light is coming up. So here is. Uh, setting up the power intensities so the more you press the more intense the power so you can see here the light intensity is 100 at 70 so we push until 100 so it's very it's very very bright lights then we reduce and i show you another few cool functions of this lco rgb p03 units so we press another time on the m buttons you can see now we got the color so inside here we got the rgb function and see i can press and you can see the color changes i, I increase the intensity will be more better. see so increase the intensity you can see the color changes of the rgb from the red to blue to purple, magenta, and then finally it comes to a red, red and yellow. So this is a very cool function of it. And some hidden function inside this Lashio light also. You can see, we can control the intensity of the color that we are producing. So I will now change to the red. So I can reduce the intensity of the red, you can see the saturation of the red is reduced so you can adjust almost all the colors that you want with these lights and we can see here we got another hidden function press emergency beaking function flashlight function another one is a calling function and the last one is a changing RGB function you can see the RGB color is changing all around So this is a very unique light here and 
personally, this is a very unique light here. So personally, if compare this to, I would like to have this uh, P02 as my primary unit for my, uh, if I still doing uh, some photography session or I do a video session, I would take this for my primary. For this P02 is for backup. So P02 backup is for mine to use when I'm using uh, video lighting. So yeah, I put inside a camera here and I just switch on. So this will become my lighting system already. Oh, sorry. It's become like ghosting. <laughs> so this is my lighting system on the go. This is very helpful when you are doing a video set. Uh, when you're doing a video session with this light. So this is a great light to carry and I used to uh, have some videos done with these lights doing uh, some of previous photo shooting few days ago. The thing good about this light is the power of this light can be used for very very long for P02. I personally tested out uh, when you full blast on use P02 you can last around uh, three hours with this P02 while currently I using the P03 RGB I tested out uh, for roughly around three hours with the maximum output so three hours with maximum output the power is still full bar so I don't know how long this RGB can be used can last but the downside of this both unit is the power up the lighting output of both is very low and that means it's not bright enough for some certain situation. It's a portable unit, so you don't expect much from the portable unit. But the down part of the uh, power output is less, but the good part is it lasts very long. So for this, roughly I use for four hours with non-stop full power. This one I use a full power uh, roughly around three to five. I think five. So five hours non-stop. So now you can see the background. The background also uses the same Lazio lights P02 here. And this one is another unit of another Lazio lights. So I will be doing the uh, introduction and review on it later on. So this is what I think about this Lazio lights. And we switch to our photography session with last year lights on hands so let's see how it function hi so tonight we'll be doing a testing of this last year lights p02 and p03 tonight this setup i'll be using the p02 which has the rgb function but p02 have uh, just normal lighting function and this is our model tonight I will show you the result later on. Starting with this photo shoot, I will be using a green and orangey color as a one side hue. Now, my cat is jumping out and I have a shot like this. My concept for this photo shooting is retro view, the 1970s to 80s. All the colors here will be more on retro green, blue, orange, and red. Wow. The, cut, the editing style of this is more of creamy, dreamy style. So it looked like a basic film that overexposed in the 90s to 70s style. Then finally, I, f I changed the setting to another color layout, red, blue, and green. So on the uh, right side is a green. Central the lightsaber is blue and another side is red and you can see the three color combination are using a lightsaber because the handheld is quite difficult in the end I add on a lightsaber holder with a mirror on the tabletop so I can see it have some reflection on the tabletop and I using a slightly more down to earth colors and lesser the saturation now you can see the all the color is very dark. I'm using a reflective uh, material as my backdrop so that the light hitting it will create a more dramatic effect. And I'm using some 
a table and the mirror to remit some reflection shot here and here. Finally, all this was shot uh, without the behind the scenes. I can only uh, tell you how I do it. All the reflection you can see here, I, I'm using a filter to reflect out the lights and create some dramatic effect or extra lighting casting on a face. You can see here, here and here. And using a bigger aperture, we can make the photo look more pop out for the model itself. You can see here, all the model is very pop out in the photos itself and color is very saturated. So in the end, I add on another Lucio lightsabers for the shot. It will be a blue color tone. And if you have any question regarding our concept shot and some information of what kind of lighting and how the information I use, uh, what type of power output that I use, I will try to answer you in the comment below. So hope to see you all again.